What's going on everyone? I'm Danny with Lanier Lawn Care. Today we are going to tell you the difference between Milwaukee's 2360-20 and their new 2366-20. Which one is right for you and if you already own the 2360 should you upgrade? So let's jump into this. All right, so we're going to jump into this video and we're going to make this short, sweet, simple, to the point so you can figure out which one's right for you or is it worth the upgrade so you can move on with your day. So starting with the old style, the old style had the 240 degree head on it, clipped into place, not anymore. They took half of that away. Pretty much with the new one, you get 120 degree swivel on this, but very smooth, no more clicking. No more clicky clicky. Uh, let's look at these LEDs. So this is the one of the biggest improvements I think they made is if you look at these LEDs, they kind of like have that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the reflector, kind of like you have the headlight, you know, in your car, the lights inside of, of that lens. Well, that's about like what this one is. And when we turn these on, you're going to be able to notice the difference as well between these two. This one seems to put out the light in a more open pattern. This seems to direct the light more toward an area. So 3,000 lumens, 4,000 lumens, uh, your switches. Let's go over the switches. So on the switch of this one, when you turn it on, you have to press the power button again to go from high, medium, low, off. With the new one, they took that completely away. Now you actually have a mode button. So when you turn this on, you can go high, medium, low. Then let's say you had it set to medium or low, you turn it off, as long as the battery stays in there, you turn it back on, it will default back to the setting you had it on. So another good thing I like about this light is they kind of made it more to where you can do more with it, uh, it seems like. Like even though this one rotated a lot more, like you got the wobbly going on. This one, they pretty much made a stand out. I kind of like that. So uh, the new Rover light is pretty awesome. I can't, can't disagree. Even though they took away 120 degrees of your rotation, you can pretty much set this anywhere you want. Uh, once again, you know, if you had to, you could lay it down, turn it over, uh, just needed it on this side, just turn it around. Uh, so weight wise, let's go into weight here. So we've got, I got 5.82 pounds is what I got on both of these, both of these. 5.82 something and 5.827 was one of them. So I mean, they're right, they're, they're pretty much the same weight. When I weighed with a battery, I got 8.1 with a 6.0 battery. Now 6.0 amp high output battery in both of these, both of them 8.1 uh, with, you know, a different number after that, but they're right at eight pounds, one ounce. I would say they're the same weight. Uh, let's see, 240 degree rotation, 120 degree rotation, 4K lumens out of the new one. The old one was 3000 lumens. So when we turn off the lights and show you this, you're going to notice the difference, but you're also going to notice the pattern that both of these put out. And I honestly like the pattern of the new one better. Price wise, well, I couldn't find this light for under $134 new. So 135 was around the cheapest I found, but pretty much still 150 bucks. The new one's 149.99, 150 bucks. If these are my choices with all the upgrades they made to the new one, well, I'm going to choose the new one. Uh, if you can't tell, it's, it's actually a little smaller and it is actually a little bit shorter width wise. If you can't tell that, uh, maybe maybe you can. But I've got you know probably an inch, mm, probably about an inch uh, less width wise on this one, and you can tell that it's probably about an inch shorter as well. But weight wise, well, once again, same weight. Uh, both of these will take 12.0 amp hour battery. Got a 12.0 here. 
So your new battery will take a torque 0.0 and you still have room to set it down and the battery is not touching. So both of these 12 amp hour, no problem. I know I'm gonna get questions on that. So I figured I'd knock it out of the way now. All right, so let's talk about runtime. Now, I don't use lights enough like an actual carpenter or something would to run them all day long. But the runtime that I did get, 5.0 amp hour battery, you're looking right at, on high, on high, you're looking right at uh, two hours on the old one and three hours on the new one. So somehow or another, these new LEDs or whatever, they upped your runtime with the same amp hour battery, plus they gave you more lumens. Well, in my opinion, it's a no brainer. If you don't own this one, get this one. Even if you do own this one, once we do the light test, I honestly think you'll second guess going and buying this just because of the light difference, uh, the way it puts the light out. But let's just turn the lights off and show you. All right, so I have these 15 feet away from the wall. This one's 15 feet away. So we'll make this one 15 feet away. We're gonna turn these on and we're just going to move the light around and show you exactly how each one of these perform on high, medium, and low. Of course, you probably don't care about the medium or the low, but we're gonna show it to you anyway. So first off is gonna be the 2360. This is the older model. <laughs> and we're going to turn this on and show you how it lights up. So let's turn some lights off. Turn this light on. This is gonna be high and 3,000 lumens. So high, 3,000 lumens. I've got it on full view pretty much. You can see what this is actually doing. And if you look, here's the thing, is if you look toward the middle of this, then you can tell that it is more light in that area pretty much. So it's gonna give you more light in that area, but it's still gonna spread out. But for some reason, this one in the center area right here puts out more light than what the new one does. So there's your high, here's your medium, and here is your low, and then here is off. So here's high again. So I'm gonna leave this on high and I'm going to put this new one on and I'm gonna put it on high as well. <clears throat> so if you can't tell the difference between these, then I don't know. See, this one, I don't know. It's, it's kind of awkward how it works. So let's turn this off. Well, off, all right. <clears throat> So that one's off. So now we've got medium, low, high. Now the high on this is more of a direct. So it puts out the light more evenly across a whole area compared to the old light. And get this off my finger. So this is one of the main things I like about this is it puts off way more light than the other one. It, it, 4,000 lumens spread over a whole area. Here's medium, here's low, and once again, here's high. Now, let's go back to the old one. Now, if you look at it, the range of width now stops through here compared to going straight out, almost like the lights on your car do, how they give you that, that light to the straight to the sides. That's what the new one does. The old one, you still get the light to the sides, but it's not actual light coming from the lens because the way this is tucked in there. So if you can look down at the, the thing and see, see if you can see this, <coughs> Yeah, so if you can look down at the, the case, you can see how this directs the light. Now, let's get the new one and show you how it directs the light. So now if you look at the new one, it directs the light more evenly. Uh, well, crap, let me turn this off. It directs the light more evenly across. So even with it up, 
your light still goes straight across pretty much if you can tell which is totally awesome because once you get into this this new one or this old one this is easy <clears throat> once you get into this old one no matter where you have it you lose all of that like see now it's it's even more straight down to where you can you know then uh so the new one disperses the light better but the old one puts it more in a direct place so if you like i said you can tell that once i'm on that sign or you can see in the center of that as i'm moving it hopefully that it's more light in that area so it's more of a direct light compared to the new one which is going to give you all around the same amount of light in the area so you don't have to worry about anything which in a way it almost don't look as bright because of how this directs the light directly to an area and this one disperses it over a complete area all right so what do you think about the light test do you like that even though this is 3000 lumens it directs all of that light to one area, area per se, compared to the new light that disperses that 4,000 over a bigger area. Which one do you like better? Which one would you rather use? That's what I'm curious about. So let's move on. Comment down below, let me know. All right, so your new light has three modes, just like the old light did, but your three modes on the new one is gonna be 4,000 lumens on high, 2,000 lumens on medium, 1,200 lumens on low, and of course you can get, they say up to 12 hours of runtime on a 5.0 battery. I'm assuming that's probably on low. But even on high on the 5.0, three hours, for 4,000 lumens. So if you've got a, a six high output, a nine or a 12, maybe an eight, uh, well, your runtime's gonna significantly go up. So you're probably looking uh, on high, close to around 45 minutes per amp hour on runtime. Once you get to that medium stage, probably gonna jump up about 15 to 20 minutes per amp hour. Uh, and then on low, probably gonna get an extra hour or so. Uh, if not a little over that per amp hour. So take that into consideration. If you're using an eight, well, probably gonna get around six hours. Uh, so let's end this, see what you think. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Which one do you choose? Which one do you like better? Maybe you already own the 2360, but the 2366 with the way it puts out the light is totally different because this light is a very nice light. And after owning both of these, I've used this one on power outages a lot, and I've used it to work on my vehicle a lot, but I will say this is very nice. It's smaller, I like that the handle is on the actual back. Is this a game changer? No, but I just personally like the handle being right there. Grab it, pick it up, move along, and I like that the mode and the power button is not with the light now. So if you're doing this, then you don't have to move it in order to change your positioning uh, from high to medium or whatever. No matter what position this light's in, you can reach this mode button and you can change the mode on this. I like that a lot as well. So lots of changes, lots of upgrades. In my opinion, they did do this. Oh, the one thing I did miss. See, I always miss something. So you've got AC on both of these, but with the new one, you actually have a dust cover. So uh, yeah, so it helps keep the dust and water out to where the old one did not have that cover. It's just wide open. So that's another great feature about it. So once again, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will answer them to the best of my ability, but until then, everyone have a great day and hopefully this helped make your decision way easier. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.